Zooming can be fun based on who you zoom in on. Back on up, you don't want none of this. It ain't pretty. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. Holding it down one more time for PinnacleStudioPro.com. I know you guys wanna know how to get your zoom on, so I'ma show you how to do your zoom thing in Pinnacle Studio. So let's jump off into Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and it's time to get our zoom thing right. Before we jump into the zoom tutorial, I wanna remind you of a few quick things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, if you like the content in this video, click that thumb. If you got questions or you need help, leave your comments below. I always answer your questions. And if I can't help you, if I don't have the answer, I'll point you in a direction to get you the answer you need. And if you want to see chunky, funky, lovely goodness like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out when I upload a video. All right. Let's make this Zoom thing happen, people. As you can see, I have a video clip down in the timeline. Now I have done a Zoom tutorial before using Pan and Zoom, but this time I'm gonna make a Zoom tutorial which shows you how to Zoom without losing any resolution in your video. And I know a lot of people have been wanting that, so let's jump off into it. I'm gonna right click on this video clip and I'm gonna go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, and then I'm going to go to 2D Editor CPU. Now where it says select preset, it is now set to default. So I need to click on that. And then I need to select no preset. What this does is it makes the video clip just like it was in a timeline, just set out to its original format. The next thing I need to do is I need to turn on keyframes. So where this little diamond is, I'm going to click on this and it'll turn orange and that turns on keyframing. The reason why I need to turn on keyframing is because I need to be able to control when and where and how fast it zooms. Right now, when I turned on keyframing, it added a keyframe right here to the beginning of the video clip. And once again, this keyframe just has the parameters of the original video. Nothing has changed at this point. So what I want to do is I want to move my playhead forward. So I'm going to left click on the playhead I'm going to drag it forward to a position where I want the zoom to start. At this position, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this add a keyframe button. Clicking on this adds a keyframe and it has the same parameters as the first keyframe because I didn't change anything. Now what I need to do next is move my playhead to a position where I want the zoom to end. So I want the zoom to go pretty fast. So I'm going to stop right here. And now instead of clicking on this button, I'm going to change the parameters. Pinnacle Studio is smart enough to know that if I change the parameters when I have keyframing on, that means that I want to add another keyframe. So the first thing I'm going to change is the size. So you need to click on size. Then if this padlock is gray, you need to click on it to make it orange. When you do that, what happens is anything that you do to any, either one of the width or the height, they change together. And you want them to stay together because you want the aspect ratio to stay the same. So you can place your cursor at the edge of the numbers to where you see a line with two arrows, one arrow on the right and one arrow on the left. You can left click and then you'll see that the number has a little orange bar at the end, which means that now I can move it. 
So I can move it to the size that I want. Or if you like to type in the parameters, you can just left click and type in a number. So now it is zoomed in and you can tell that the resolution hasn't changed. It's still sharp, just like it was when it was uh, zoomed all the way out. Usually when you do that, you zoom in on something like that, it can easily change the pixelation and you start to see it and it looks all nasty. So this is really great using 2D, 3D CPU. But I wanted to zoom in on the wasp and the wasp is not centered. So that means I need to change the position. So click on position. And now you can do the same thing. You can slide it or you can type in. I'm going to type in this time. So I'm going to change the X position, which is the horizontal. And the Y position, which is the vertical. And the wasp looks nice and centered now. So if I play this back, you'll see that it stays out. And then when it reaches the next keyframe or the last keyframe to hold it in position, it's going to start moving to that next keyframe and zooming in. And then since I didn't add anything after that, it's just going to stay zoomed in like that. If you want to, you can zoom back out by adding another keyframe with the original parameters in. And now that I'm done, I'm going to click on OK. And then once again, if I play this, you'll see a beauty, beauty, beautiful zoom. And the resolution is still sharp and crisp. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, all right? Comments, leave me your comments because when you do, I get back with you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're gonna be missing out on all of the Pinnacle Studio love I bring you on YouTube. So sub it up so you know and you're in the know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.